If you have recently checked your Escopus account, you might have noticed a new addition, Escopus AI. Uh, this Escopus AI is a generative artificial intelligence tool uh, using the Escopus database to do what? To formulate its responses in a new way. Uh, it's an addition to the existing Escopus database and the tool is incredibly useful for all researchers, especially masters and PhD students, to greatly support literature reviews and provide valuable insights for their research. Okay. So to access this tool, just log in to Escopus like you usually do. You can use your university credentials or log in inside the university network, which usually supports free connection to Escopus, of course, for its members. Once you logged in, uh, you will see a new tab for Escopus AI. Okay, so click on it uh, to access the tool and here we go. When Escopus AI opens, uh, you will see a search box where you can type your question. Uh, you can either use a fully formulated question or simply enter a few keywords. Okay, if you uh, choose keywords the tool will do its best to find relationship between them, uh, like the combination with the ands and ors that we are already familiar with that system. So let's try a topic related to big data, credit scoring for risk management to see how the tool provides answers. Here we go, you can see the results. Uh, one of Escopus AI's key advantages compared to other tools is that it uses the Scopus Scientific Articles database. Uh, so this database is used to create the responses and every answer is referenced with the scientific article index in Scopus. So you always know where the information comes from. So as you can see, the tool provided a summarized response to the question, including reference indicating uh, by numbers, uh, which link to what to the articles where the information was sourced and this ensures transparency in where the data comes from and that is something that uh, you might face with a little bit of problem in chat gpt when the references may be in some cases are not real and some of them are fake references so after the brief summary uh, you will get an expanded version of the response, uh, breaking down the elements into more detail, often using bullet points or categorized uh, sections. Uh, this expanded response also includes additional references, always tying back to the original articles. So the tool allows you to provide feedback to the product team, uh, whether the response was useful or if you have a specific comment about the results. So below the expanded answer, uh, Escobus AI provides a concept map. It, this map helps uh, to define the concept used to formulate the response, as well as related ideas that you might not have noticed before. A good help, right? So clicking on a term uh, will show you what the link between your initial topic and the related concepts. Below the concept map, there is a section for topic experts. Uh, there are up to three researchers who are considered experts in the topic. Uh, so this can be a great way to identify leading researchers in your area of interest or even potential collaborators. And you can preview their profile for a summary of their work, edge index and relevant publications, or uh, view their complete profile on the Scopus for more details. Following the experts, there is a section called Go Deeper. Uh, this section suggests additional questions to help you refine or expand your research question. Uh, asking the right question is often the hardest part of research and these suggested questions each serve a different purpose depending on uh, the original topic, introducing new elements or offering a completely different perspective. So if you click on 
one of these questions, uh, the tool will generate a new answer with all the elements we have discussed, summary, expanded answer, concept map, experts, and so on. Okay, so at the bottom of the page, you can also leave a specific feedback on the tool. Uh, it is important for its product team to review and improve Scopus AI. Now I want to highlight something important. The references section at the top of the page. Uh, these numbered articles are the ones that the tool uh, used to answer your question, right? So you can click on show all references to view a list of titles. Uh, it will show you the authors, the summaries, and even you can export them to a CSV or reference manager for future use. Another valuable section is uh, foundational documents, which serves as a complementary bibliography. Okay, so these are highly relevant articles for the search topic, uh, but they weren't necessarily used in the response. So they are often well cited. Uh, foundational works, important works that they, they are uh, good for all the researchers to know about them and uh, uh, for anyone researching this subject. So these uh, foundational documents can also be exported to your reference manager um, and uh, there you have it, all the elements that make up uh, Scopus AI responses. Uh, and as you can see, it's a comprehensive tool that goes well beyond providing just a simple answer. It gives a summarized answer, expands upon it, and always references scientific articles, uh, giving you a range of resources to explore and do a better research. So I hope you enjoy using Scopus AI. Thanks for uh, being here and happy researching.